Do you believe it? That's simply imagining all the ice on Earth disappearing. The familiar world we know would no longer recognize itself. Not melting in parts. Not just a few major glaciers. But every single mass of ice from the permanent ice caps of the Arctic to mountain glaciers to the kilometer-thick ice sheets of Antarctica. All of it. Melting. Right now, if you open a world map, you are looking at an image shaped by ice. Not by mountains. Not by oceans. But by frozen water that has locked sea levels in place for hundreds of thousands of years. And if that ice were to disappear, that map would instantly become obsolete. Science has asked this question before not as a prophecy but as a thought experiment. If all the ice on Earth melted, global sea levels would rise by approximately 65 to 70 meters. That number sounds abstract. Until you place it into the real world. Imagine what happens first. No tsunamis. No sudden global flood in a single day. The ocean rises quietly, meter by meter, swallowing the lowest regions first. Coastlines begin to retreat. Not in imagination, but on actual topographic maps. Coastal cities where hundreds of millions of people live would be the first to disappear. New York. London. Tokyo. Shanghai. Bangkok not vanishing in a single moment, but fractured, divided, surrounded by salt water. Some places would become islands is less than hash zero. Seven hash is greater than. Some would turn into wetlands, and some would disappear entirely from Earth's surface. But what is most striking is this. This is not an instant apocalypse. Earth does not die. It simply reshapes itself. As ice melts, the enormous volume of water entering the oceans does more than raise sea levels. It changes how the oceans function. Ocean currents, massive thermal conveyor belts, regulating the global climate, are restructured. The Gulf Stream, which carries warmth to Europe, could weaken or shift course. Regions, once temperate, may become colder or drier, even as the planet as a whole grows warmer.